Hey guys, we're here about to show you how to do a scar that looks realistic for Halloween. Starting off with some face paints, primal colors, prime colors from Moran. We have the Ben Nye Scar Wax, Spirit Gum Remover, Wax Sealer, and Spirit Gum Adhesive. Okay, we're going to start off with just doing a simple scar. It's my daughter paints it on my arm. She's starting off using black. It's going to be really dark for the inside of the scar. Sorry, I moved. She's also adding a bit of red with the black to make it look really dark. Now we're going to grab just a tad bit of this scar wax. It's sticky, ooey gooey, but just a little bit. You're going to kind of mold it in your hand, get it nice and soft where you can start working with it. Now at this point, I'm I only want this on for this tutorial, but at this point you'd probably want to put some uh, spirit gum, this stuff right here, the spirit gum, can you see that? There it goes, spirit gum adhesive on before you put the wax to make it really stick. She's going to outline the scar just where she wants the skin to make it look like it's folding out. stuff is really sticky. It's sticky. It's sticky enough to actually stick on your skin, but if you want it to last the whole night, I do suggest using the adhesive to go with it. Because if you bump this the wrong way without the adhesive, it'll peel right off or stick to something else. She's now blending it into my skin to make it look like it's just a part of it. You can see it's starting to come along. It's blended in the flesh tone color. And use this. Now she's going to use a little bit of this. Let me take a picture of it. Ben Nye Translucent Face Powder. It'll give the um, 
in the scar wax a more uh, realistic look and you blend it in. good. Okay, now we're going to add just a little bit more red. Going to make it look like it's been bleeding some. Now there's a couple of tricks also you can do. Um, she's going to add some red and probably purplish to make it look like it's bleeding or damaged on the outside of the skin. Um, one trick is to get some Vaseline with red paint and it'll look like a fresh wound. You can put Vaseline on the inside of it and then a bright red colored paint. Um, there's also something called theatrical blood that you can get at Walmart around Halloween season. It's just a ooey gooey um, syrup almost like blood, non-toxic safe. Um, it'll give you more of a drip look if you didn't want um, the Vaseline part. Either way. And she's adding the bright red to make it look like a fresh wound just on the inside make it look like it's cut open and okay, Megan go ahead and add a little bit of this so you can okay. show them what it does and then we should be done now you can use um, the wax sealer on top of this I don't know how much is it going to come out just a little bit Yeah, I'm not. It's not coming out? Hang on. Okay, you can use also before you put that. This is yes. clogged. This is a flexible wax sealer. And that will also preserve there, there's a new one right the wax. Yeah, we've got a new one. Okay. See, it stays on. I mean, you can move. But if you bump it on anything, if you don't put that sealer and that adhesive, it'll come off. Gonna put a little dab in there. Did you take the little thing off? Oh, there's a thing. Did it come out? There you go. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it comes out fast. Luckily, we caught it. That's okay. Just there's a bubble. That's okay. There we go. It's gonna be messy anyway. There you go. Just a little dab will do. Ooh, yeah. that looks gross. Now have it come out the ends, Megan, have it drip down. Have it drip out the wound coming down my arm. I'm trying. Might need to add a little bit more than Yeah, I think so. Sorry. Now yeah, now take the paintbrush and have it come out down the wound. There you go. Now it looks like it's just oozing. There you go, perfect. And that, my friends, is a homemade wound. Perfect for Halloween. Okay, stay tuned, because next time we're going to do a latex scar with uh, toilet paper and latex, super easy.